positive thoughts in this system of things and namaste so i'm carrying on from part three you know basically how to live in peace love and joy no matter what beliefs basically so i was saying in part two you know about going to a restaurant you go look at the menu and you go to order some food and you'll see on the menu like burger and chips and then you'll see like chocolate gato and you think oh that looks nice pizza yeah i mean who doesn't like pizza mm. And then you look at the menu and you think, oh look, there's salad there. Uh, no, I don't really want salad. I really like the pizza. And, oh, I like the burger and chips. The thing is, um, when you're telling your brain you could have, say, this or you could have that, it empowers you. Um, and you've also got resistance as well involved you know, it sort of goes away and you can choose, you know, even if it's chocolate cake, basically, and you're like, oh, it looks nice, and your brain likes what is familiar. And then you're like, the same as like lounging around in the home, you make it unfamiliar. Oh, I can't lounge around in here in the home, I'm going to attend the gym. I'm going to attend the gym and I'm going to take the classes and I'm not going to lie around. Um, because I respect my body, I honour myself, I love myself and it's really important to stay healthy and it keeps me on a higher vibration of energy as a spiritual being here, this we know. And and it's also very good for the body to stay healthy, it's very important to look after our, our vessel. Okay, so it's being able to make, you know, the unfamiliar f familiar and so then you start going to the gym and it's the same with a business making the familiar unfamiliar so you can choose to have a choice it's up to you basically so it's through basically believing in yourself and putting in sort of say the hard work which will get you basically results and what you have have and not got and you like and you make it familiar um things that you got you don't like um, again, you make it unfamiliar, you see you're lounging around and, and, and you want to go to the gym and you want to get fit. Even with criticism with people, it doesn't matter what they say or, you know, don't take it personally when it comes to people, you know, just don't let it in. And you make praise with familiar and then people say, oh, you look good or... Or, or you, you, you did a good speech, or you was great on TV, and even you could have been a presenter, say for example, which I've had as a response rather than unfamiliar because you know ever praised as never praised as a child, or you was abandoned, or your parents, or whatever situation. So when looking at the inner child, if you could think of things like you say to yourself that your parents um, never told you, oh, I love you, or oh, um, I am what you wanted, or to hear by people that I have a great kid, or I am smart, I am deserving, I am intelligent, I am good person, I am successful, I make unfamiliar familiar, and take responsibility, um, and basically, you know, the pictures you see say over and over again. Uh, so depression is caused nowadays by critical, harsh words you say to yourself. Um, over and over again, making those negative comments of energy. Um, you know, making f things familiar, unfamiliar. To say to yourself every day, I am enough. I am deserving, I am successful, I am loved, I am intelligent, I am a good person, I matter. Basically reprogram your mind and say to yourself every day and you can have whatever you like and create whatever you want. So it's really important with the words that you say because you're only causing harm to yourself so for example i'm just going to say this quickly so say for example if you look in the mirror 
and you say to yourself, oh, look at the state of me. Look at my hair, like, or like, I don't look very good today. Look at me. Be careful with the words you say. Look at yourself in the mirror and say to yourself, I am handsome, I am beautiful. Those positive words and thoughts, those signals that you're sending to your brain will change everything on how you shape your reality by the words you say and the thoughts. They're, be careful because they're very important when it comes to manifesting, shaping your reality, um, stepping into empowering yourself and honouring yourself and bringing in what's good so if you think positive thoughts and you say good things and um what do you think is going to come out of it well then you're going to have a good life and positive things and that come into your life if you think negative things and say hurtful things then it's going to bring that into your life so it's really important what you say what you think the signals the messages you're putting out in the universe and to yourself be very careful. Right, love and light, spiritual soon, bye for now, and yeah, keep those positive thoughts in this system of things, and namaste.